you know, light has the ability to communicate in a uh, really powerful way, and it's not verbal, and it's, 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 it's like looking at a campfire. So there's a hypnotic quality to it. It seems to be able to access some deep part in us. The Bay Bridge, which connects Oakland and San Francisco, has long been overshadowed by the iconic Golden Gate Bridge. But for the next two years, the Knights will belong to the Bay Bridge, thanks to 25,000 computer-controlled LED lights dancing along its suspension cables. The idea is to take the iconic structures of the Bay Area, which are the bridges, and augment them with another layer. And in this case, it's a layer of light. So we're merging technology, art, light, in this monumental piece of public art that we've estimated 50 million people are going to see over two years. The artist Leo Villarreal was commissioned to create the Bay Lights project to commemorate the Bay Bridge's 75th anniversary two years ago. The piece will be officially lit on March 5th. Well, I think you really have to watch it for a while. There's a lot that's going on, and I think it's, it could change, and that's really neat. Yeah, I see different images in it, fish, and it looked like it was uh, car lights reflecting off the wires, things like that. Villarreal has programmed the lights with layers of pattern that constantly shift. This is this custom-written piece of software written in C, and what it's doing is taking these several multiple layers of sequences and displaying them in real time on the bridge. This is a representation of the data that's going out, so each pixel here corresponds to one of the lights. So I'm interpreting all the kinetic activity around the bridge, the traffic, the motion of water, uh, the sky. You know, there's, there, it's such a rich environment to draw upon and interpreting that through my software to create a, uh, the sequencing. I like how it's all like patterned and like, Woo! I like the lights. Yeah, it's cool how it's all like lit up. And, well, obviously it's lit up. It's lights. <laughs> it's unpredictable. I mean, one minute it looks like waves and very natural you know, calming things, and then it looked like little bugs running across, or fireworks, it's, it's great. Yeah. What do you think, too? I just love the large scale of it. It's a yeah. great installation. Funded entirely by private donations, the piece is one of the largest public art projects ever launched. It stretches nearly two miles across the bridge's San Francisco-facing span. I think it's fantastic. I think it's really, um, representative of the bay, um, very creative, very um, sort of flashy, and it really shows that they've put a lot into sort of making it look beautiful here. Um, yeah. and, I think it's something you so. can invest in as a city, yeah. right? You know? Mm -hmm. A lot of people have told me that they, they miss the lights when they're off because we've been in testing them. So already people have this connection to the pieces and they feel a bond to them and somehow that the piece has personality and you know, they want to be with it. So, you know, that's kind of the highest compliment uh, as far as I'm concerned. And I'm sure it'll mean a lot of different things to different people. I mean, for me, it's about generosity and just creating something and, and providing a kind of place that's more open-ended for people to contemplate, to see, to respond.